In the last week, Iraqi pilgrims walked all the way to the holy city of Qom to visit the sacred shrine in the city. During their stay in Qom, these Iraqi pilgrims made a visit to the central office of the Grand Ayatollah Shuazi and met with his eminence. Furthermore, Sayyid Jafar Shuazi joined these Iraqi Shias and made a speech to them. It is noteworthy that the members of the Grand Ayatollah Shuazi office welcomed these Iraqi pilgrims in the outskirts of Qom city. Now, I invite you to watch a report of these Iraqi pilgrims. Every year, members of caravans of pilgrims who walk all the way from Iraq to Iran, aiming to visit the sacred sites in this country, visit the central office of the eminent Ayatollah Sayyid si Sadiq Shirazi in the holy city of Qom and meet with his eminence. These caravans come on a pilgrimage trip, aiming to visit the shrines of the household of Prophet Muhammad, who are buried in Iran, and then to visit the eminent Ayatollah Sayyid si Sadiq Shirazi in the holy city of Qom. The first caravan arrived at the office of the Grand Juris last Sunday, and upon their arrival, they met with His Eminence. Following the meeting, the caravan members met with Sayyid Jafar Shirazi, the respected son of the late Juris, Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Shirazi, and then they listened to his lecture. In his lecture, Sayyid Jafar Shirazi expressed his gratitude for the patience and endurance of the people of Iraq in what they have faced so far. After the lecture, a commemoration ceremony was held and the attendees mourned the martyrdom of the household of Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> As you know, traveling on foot and visiting the sacred shrines of the Holy Infallibles has a long history in the Shia Islam. Of course, at times this ritual has been stopped due to some problems, but as soon as those problems were solved, we can see that the pilgrimage caravans are formed and groups of Shia Muslims walk to the sacred shrines of the Infallibles in different cities. It is unanimously believed that walking to those shrines is a way of honoring the marks of God, and the Hadiths also state that there is no better way to do pilgrimage than to walk. It has been always part of the schedule by the religious caravans to meet with the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi. The religious caravans visit the Grand Jurist and listen to the precious advices of His Eminence. Thank God, we have managed to visit the Grand Jurist each year and enjoy his advices. This year, the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi emphasized on piety and persistence and asked us to enlarge this great movement in the coming years. The Grand Jurist also asked us to bring our families with us on this trip, so that our next generations would experience the blessings of this pilgrimage trip as well. I hope that we can be successful in the way of serving the Ahlul Bayt. Moreover, some delegations from the office of the eminent Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi went to the outskirts of the holy city of Qom, so they can welcome the second caravan of pilgrims, and then they accompanied them to this holy city. The second caravan stopped by the central office of the eminent Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi and met with his eminence as well. Our religious caravan consists of 45 pilgrims who started this journey on Shavuot 5. It is now almost 15 days since the start of this pilgrimage trip and we are in the holy city of Qom by the sacred shrine of Lady Masuma, peace be upon her. The purpose of this pilgrimage and the reason that we walk all this long way is nothing but to show our love to the Holy Infallibles. We believe that this trip will lead us to a good end. We renew our Pledge of Allegiance with our Savior, Imam Mahdi, each year. We were really impressed by the words of the eminent Grand Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi. His Eminence asked us to expand this religious caravan and persuade our families to join this trip too. Following the meeting, Sayyid Jafar Shirazi, the respected son of the late jurist Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Shirazi delivered a sermon at their presence. We walked to the sacred shrine of Imam Rida, peace be upon him, and now we are in the holy city of Qom, by the shrine of Lady Masuma, peace be upon her. We send the divine rewards of this religious ritual to the savior of a humanity, Imam Mahdi, may he reappear soon. It would take us 40 days to arrive to the city of Mashhad, and pay tribute to the sacred shrine of Imam Rida, peace be upon him. These 40 days remind us of the period when Lady Zainab was traveling in captivity. When we walk and get tired, we imagine the hardships Lady Zainab went through during those 40 days.